Hello, how are you? Guess where we are? Can you tell? We're in my car, what a surprise. We're in my car because I'm driving home and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit, so. Wow, my hair's kind of a mess today. If I'm not looking at you, it's cause I'm driving, so don't be offended. I wanted to do a vlog for you guys today. It is the second vlog I've done for April. I tried not to do too many because I know in March some people said, oh, you're turning into a vlog channel, which I love vlogs. I really, really do. So hopefully some of you get over it and like it. And uh, for those of you who don't want to get over it, I've only done two so far. So this vlog is gonna be about a few different updates about a few different things going on with me. Um, first of which, last weekend I went to the Spring Style Show, which was put on by, um, what are they called, BSG or Cosmoprof, which is a local supply house where we can get um, hair color, shampoo, you know, for licensed professionals. So that was in San Jose. I was there for both days, Saturday and Sunday and um, gosh there was some really good classes so on Sunday I was in a class not one class but I was in class almost the entire day I took three different classes the first one was about social media and all the different different uh, platforms and you know which ones are good for you which ones aren't Wow I just realized it looks kind of dark I hope you guys can see me good because in the uh, viewfinder it looks like really dark um, yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I get distracted easily. As I was saying, so that was put on by Kelly Ellers, which she is with Evoke Brand Strategies, and she was awesome. Then there was one, what was the name of that company? Dang it, I can't even think of what it was. There was a woman who is a life coach, business coach, Alejandra Crisofuli. And why can't I think of her company name right now? I don't know. Anyway, this, the second class was about finding balance in your life and how to achieve it. So that was also a really awesome class. So awesome that I was like, okay, I gotta see whatever she has tomorrow too. Um, so she was awesome. And then the third class was Kevin, something with an M, I can't think of what it is. He's also a business coach, I don't know if he's a life coach, but that class was about leadership. So all the classes were really good. There was some good shopping. Um, I didn't buy too much on the first day. The first day I bought a few makeup brushes from Crown Brush, uh, maybe three or four of them, not too many. Like I said, I wanted to kind of test them out. So I took them back to my room and tested them the next day, liked them and bought more. Uh, I will do a haul pretty soon, hopefully tonight when I get home. We'll see how that goes, depends how much I got going on. Um, so that was really awesome. The second day, and I went with coworkers, so we you know, mingled with students. We saw students there. We didn't like, you know, party it up, obviously, but um, we saw the students there, talked with them, how you doing, what class you going to, what you buy, et cetera, et cetera. If you're a student, you know. Um, and then the other educators went to different classes also. Um, let's see, did any of them take the same class as me? I don't think anybody took the same class as me the same day. Then the second day, which was Monday, I was able to take Oh gosh, why is this escaping me? This is terrible. Oh, what is wrong with me? Oh, inspire your business and kickstart your life. And that was from Kevin, the guy from the previous day, the last class that I took. And then, um, let's see, the... The second class was, oh, I know. It was, where are you going? What's next, where are you going? And how do I get there? Or something to that effect. That was from the woman the prior day, and Alejandra Christofuli. She was the one that I took the second class on the first day. Then there was a marketing basics, I wanna say, class. Um, 
the last class of the day and that was also from the same woman so that was really awesome I got to get my nails done which I don't know you can kind of see the little they're green and they have these waves in them they're gels and it's a company called um, Harmony Nail Harmony something gosh what is wrong with me Nail Tech Supply is the main top company but it's gelish is the common name that a lot of people know um, so one hand she did their new gel polish which is called Magneto you put down the color and then you put the magnet over it they have nail polish like that and so they now have gels like that which is really awesome and then on the other hand let me see if I can show you guys this hand she did some really cool some, oh you can't even see that one but um, she did some really cool designs in gel and a lot of people don't think of gel and I didn't until I saw some of the cool stuff she was doing. You just don't think of gel as being able to be really creative with it. So it was awesome what she did. I am super duper excited about my nails. They're super cute. Um, so yeah. And then let's see, so that's everything. I did buy some stuff at the show but like I said, I'm gonna try and do a haul. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to update you on is the Thursday before I went to the show um, at work. You know, I work at a beauty college, in case you didn't know. I do admissions and marketing, and I teach makeup classes also. I'm the one who takes care of, like, our Facebook page and our Twitter and all that stuff. And I help people get started in school. And then, like I said, I teach makeup classes to the entire student body. So that's what I do at the beauty college. I know sometimes some of you ask me that. Um, but so anyways, one of the educators was teaching the rest of the educators about these new type of hair extensions that are what they call tape-in extensions. That's the type that they are. They don't require any heat whatsoever to put them in. They're not sew-in. They literally tape in. And... Um, she said hey you want to be my model so I got hair extensions put in for free at work so that everybody else could check them out and they put in four different sections and I'm actually gonna get more put in in a few days because we're waiting for more hair to arrive but the hair extensions are super cool they're um, the company is called babe you know like I'm a hot babe um, <laughs> anyway <laughs> sorry I couldn't resist Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to get more hair extensions put in because right now they're just in the back and I'd like to have some more along the sides too. They're not drastically longer or anything like that, but I definitely have a lot more hair because of it. It's so much more full and my hair looks so good in the morning when I get done styling it. Um, but yeah, so I will try and show you those. They're really cool. They kind of like... You part the hair, get your piece of hair, and you sandwich it together between two hair extensions. And then you press really, really, really hard. And that actually makes them permanent. And Well, not permanent. Obviously, nothing's permanent. But they stay in. You can wear them like four to six weeks, they say. And uh, there's a girl who works at the college. She's our Wednesday evening receptionist. Her name is Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Um, she has had them in for over... A month a month and a week I think and hers you know have grown out about this much and she's gonna have them taken out because she I don't know wants to do something different I don't know anyways but I was saying to her wow that that's not too bad I think I could go like this much grow out so I'm excited because I think I'm gonna be able to keep them in a really long time and my hair is gonna get extra long yay um, okay, so I talked about the hair show. I talked about hair extensions. What am I missing? Oh, I know. Somebody asked me the other day um, about my vlog that I did in March, I want to say, but it said next to it in little parentheses, it said get fit. And that was where I was just telling you guys that I'm trying to be healthier and get in shape. And that is something that is still a very, very important goal of mine. I haven't been trying as hard as I should be, which, you know, I only have myself to blame, obviously. Um, 
sometimes when I get home from work, it's later. Like today, for example, I'll get home from work at like six o'clock at night and I just, I'm tired. I don't feel like cooking. So a lot of times I'll just eat whatever's fast. And whether that's like soup or top ramen or fast food even sometimes, which obviously isn't good for you, but it is what it is that's all I can say I do try and eat healthy lunch at least I'll go grocery shopping over the weekend obviously and then make my lunch for the week and have like cucumbers and tomatoes and um, Greek yogurt and you know all kinds of different things that are healthier but when it comes to dinner that is still a little bit of a struggle I haven't got that ironed out yet but that's okay, that'll come in time, you know, one step at a time, and as long as I'm always progressing towards a healthier lifestyle, I'm happy. Obviously, if it went super fast and was really easy, then, you know, everybody would be super skinny and have awesome bodies and not really have that issue. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. I have lost a few pounds, not a lot, but I have lost a few pounds anyway, even though. So that does make me happy. I've lost about four pounds so far. It hasn't, it, I think it's been, wow, I think it's almost, I think it has been a month. I think it really has. I think like today or yesterday was like a month. That's awesome. Four pounds in a month really isn't bad because when you're taking weight off slowly like that, you're more prone to actually keep it off. So I'm fine with that actually. That's crazy. I didn't realize it had been a month. I'm not unfortunately exercising regularly. I did it for like a week. Then I stopped because it was my birthday and then I, you know, did it again for like two, three days and I did tons of walking while I was at the hair show, but I haven't really like got back on the elliptical or pulled out the weights or anything like that. I haven't tried as hard as I should and have in the past. So that's definitely something I need to work on. Okay, what else am I missing? I feel like I'm missing out on something. Dang it, I hate when I do this. Maybe that is it. I can only kind of think of four things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Maybe that is, I don't know. Um, for those of you who have been asking me about my uh, giveaway, you know, basic things, it runs for a month, so at the last day of the month, it's over. I might not get the video up right then that very next day, but it's over. I don't choose any subscribers who've subscribed after that point for that particular month's giveaway, if that makes any kind of sense. For those of you who um, see my videos at home and you see the cars behind me, those are not my car collection. They're my boyfriend's car collection. Um, for the one or two of you who think that, you know, it's cluttered and distracting, I don't know what to say. You know, there's a lot of stuff in our apartment. It is what it is. If you don't like it, I guess you don't have to watch. I mean, it. I'll be sad, but you know, what What can I tell you? I don't really have anywhere else that I can film. That's my area, so like it or leave it, I guess. <laughs> um, what can I tell you? Do I, I have some new products that I'm gonna be reviewing. I did get the, um, remember that I did the sponsored or not sponsored video? I did get what I was asked to review, so I'll be putting that up pretty quickly. I do have a haul from the hair show. I do have, what else do I have planned? Um, I wanna try something with face painting. I'm not talking about making me into a little puppy dog or a butterfly or anything like that. I'm talking about some serious face painting. Um, you'll see what I mean pretty soon. And, oh, I know, let me ask you guys a question. So, guess I'm a little late. Um, I just learned about Tumblr on Sunday at my social media class and I've heard it's kind of like a mini blog which is or simple condensed version of a blog which is really cool. Um, I do have a blog myself but it's not something that I'm religious about updating. But I wanted to know how many of you have Tumblr? How many of you use Tumblr? Um, if you do, you know, tell me your username. Mine, what is mine? I think it's Kylie1979, the same as my Twitter is. So if you guys wanna follow me on there, you can. I literally just made it 
um, today. There's like one picture on there, whoop de doo but yeah, so I just thought I'd mention that. Tell me what you guys think of Tumblr. Do you use it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you, I don't know. Anything you wanna tell me about Tumblr? How to use it? Can you post videos on there? That'd be kinda neat. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanna ask you guys. I do have kind of a exciting announcement coming up. I've been working on a special project for a long time and I'm starting to get closer to that goal and I'm gonna need some help from some of you. So that's gonna be coming up in a, um, a little while probably, maybe a month or two. That should start to come out, but I'm super duper excited. Uh, something very exciting is happening for me and I can't wait to tell you guys and share with you and get your feedback. So that's also gonna be something ex God, what a tease, right? Um, yeah, anyway, so I guess that's all I have. I'm getting kind of rambly and that's when I know, okay, it's time to go. So um, if you have any questions, you know what to do, ask away. Uh, I do have Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. So you can follow me wherever you want or not follow me, that's okay too. But uh, yeah, okay, bye now.